So on this slide we talk about how to grow from short exact sequence of sheaves to the long exact sequence of cohomology groups. Now what we use is the main theorem of homological algebra and I will write that theorem later. But you should know how to go from complexes to long exact sequence of cohomology groups. So say you are given a short exact sequence of sheaves on a topological space X. Yeah, so if this is given, then there is a long exact sequence of cohomology groups. given like this yeah so so this is given in this form you have 0 to h0 x comma f1 then h0 x comma f2 to h0 x comma f3 so notice all these sequence are exact yeah so the, there is a short exact sequence and there is a long exact sequence so basically you cannot find further cohomology groups of this sequence yeah all if you find try to find cohomology groups of this long exact sequence there will be zero because it's an exact sequence so then you go from h0 to h1 xf1 then h1 xf2 then h1 x f f3 and so on so this is a long exact sequence so how do we get this long exact sequence so as i said before we have to first write down the complexes then form the map between the complexes so notice this thing we have shown before h0 is f1 x h0 x comma f2 is f2 of x and h0 x comma f3 is f3 of x this we have already shown in previous slide so let us write down the proof for this yeah so associated to each sheaf f1 f2 and f3 we have the resolution in terms of sheaf of discontinuous sections yeah this we have shown in previous slide yes in one of the previous slides we showed this so we have a complex uh, for each sheaf you know for example with f1 we will have 0 to d, d0 this d0 is associated with f1 yeah d0 f1 of x then we go to d1 then we go to d2 and so on everything here is associated with f1 I am not just not writing f1 further down because it just causes clutter then similarly with f2 with f2 you have the discontinuous sections you know a resolution a flabby resolution similarly with f3 you have a flabby resolution so we have these complexes associated with each of these sheaves yeah we had uh, developed these complexes in one of the previous slides so each of these d1s is associated to a particular sheaf now we want to form this exact sequence here a short exact sequence like this yeah so so this short exact sequence we need to wonder where this short exact sequence comes from we do already know where these complexes are coming from for each sheaf because we have drawn it before but we need to talk about these short exact sequences how do these short exact sequences come about so as i said before complexes we have already shown 
So for the short exact sequence, notice that if you have exact sequence of sheaves, you can pass on to stocks without destroying this exactness. Yes, in particular, you know the discontinuous sections took something like this, direct product. Yes, so we are talking about the entire space X. Each of these G0, D1, D2 are acting on the entire space X. Yeah, so now, so you can pass on to these uh, direct products. Yeah, so we have these natural injective maps, which we have talked about multiple times. And because passing on to stocks preserves exactness, we have these exact short exact sequences. Yeah, because these discontinuous sections by definition are something like the product of stocks. Yeah, so all of these are discontinuous sections. So, then they look like above. So, that is pretty much it. So, we have talked about complexes and we have talked about how short exact sequences come about. They come about just because the way we define passing on to stocks does not destroy exactness and that's how we could just go from discontinuous sections and therefore just form the exact sequences. And that is pretty much it. So now we use the main theorem of homological algebra and we get the long exact sequence. So let us just for the sake of completeness write down what the what is the theorem I'm talking about. So and hopefully I will post the proof of this theorem also. So given exact sequence of complexes So you have a complex like this you have a long exact sequence of cohomology groups and uh, basically what we have is a complex in our proof and uh, thus we get the long exact sequence of cohomology groups And this is the end of the story.